let's face it, some people can make it in this world coasting on their physical assets. They may have a good throwing arm, or a nearly indestructible warhammer, or a vibranium shield. Now, whether we love them or hate them, these superheroes didn't make it to the top of the marble totem pole based on their brawn alone. It was a combination of strength and smarts that brought these Marvel characters the most success and the universe is packed with super beings and all kinds of other wonderful things. These particular men and women just might have higher IQ than the Hulk's level of exposure to gamma radiation. But of all the scientists and child geniuses from the house that Stan Lee built, these 10 characters have the most useful abilities on this side of the galaxy. And while we may envy their mental abilities, the useful thing that you can do right now is click on the subscribe button to stay up to date on all things Patrol Clip. Don't forget to like and share as well. And also don't forget you can get a free PDF on how to become a successful social media influencer by leaving your email with the subscription. All right then, here we go! I'm not going to make it! Keep going! Shuri Shuri was the breakout star of 2018's Black Panther film. Even though she's been kicking butt and taking names throughout the comics for years, in the movie The Princess of Wakanda is basically what Q would be to James Bond for Black Panther. A genius leading a team of Wakanda's finest scientists and developers, able to provide her brother T'Challa with all the latest gadgets and gizmos. And for all the harried and excitable comic relief that Q has offered to James Bond throughout the years, Shuri seems like she's full of character, quips, and impatient one-liners to keep the royal family of Wakanda a bit more interesting. For quite some time, the director of Black Panther, Ryan Coogler, even confirmed that she has intellect on par with Tony Stark, as she is someone able to manipulate Wakanda's abundance of the rare metal known as vibranium and use it to keep Wakanda's infrastructure running above and beyond the efficiency of most other countries. I mean, you'd have to be pretty brilliant, according to Coogler. It's definitely interesting to see a young African teenager who's manipulated vibranium in ways that no one else could. As someone who's crafted a super suit that can expand out of a mere necklace, soundproof sneakers, and even a remote-controlled car, this 16-year-old is Black Panther's best asset and well on her way to becoming an ideal Black Panther herself. Now, before we start, I'd like to introduce a very special guest. This company's founder and my mentor, Dr. Hank Pym. Dr. Hank Pym. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it was Tony Stark that created Ultron and ultimately the genesis of Vision. However, in the comics, it was originally Hank Pym, whose technical know-how had created Ultron. Now, of course, the MCU does have Hank Pym featured, played by the great Michael Douglas, but as more of a supporting character in favor of Scott Lang, who's played by Paul Rudd, of course. Pym is the OG Ant-Man, and nobody does it better, as we saw in the backstory clips from Ant-Man and Wasp. He's able to shrink down an entire building and turn it into a piece of wheeling luggage. But uh, it kind of makes you wonder, I mean, was the entire building built with a giant handle in it the whole time, or maybe constructed in there as a miniature? Guess we'll never know. Also, would the offices be like large rooms with little tiny doll furniture built in? Or, you know, I mean, did they set all that up ahead of time with large furniture? Ah, I mean, come on, Marvel, we need answers here. Now, Scott Lang, he might have the street smarts needed to make a killing as a master thief. And I suppose he did mention something about having a little engineering in his background. But he just doesn't quite have Pym's physics background needed to create Ant-Man tech from scratch. The way that Pym works with and manipulates the natural resources around him is like the way a sculptor works with clay or a magician works with a deck of cards. It's freaking magical. So much so that he could be referred to as the Scientist Supreme to Doctor Strange's Sorcerer Supreme. I mean, the guy discovered and invented Pym Particles, which unlocks the secrets to shrinking so small that you can enter a subatomic world or be able to grow so large you could practically touch the heavens. I mean, come on, y'all. That's pretty dope. You have to work hard. Intelligence is not a privilege, it's a gift. And you use it for the good of mankind. Otto Octavius. It's a shame that such a brilliant doctor spends most of his free time upgrading his robotic tentacles and terrorizing New York, because this guy 
could be teaming up with the scientific community to solve the world's problems like poverty, hunger, climate change, black holes opening up in the sky over New York to allow swarms of interstellar invaders to attack the city. But instead, he crawls around with extra arms added to his body for trivial reasons. I mean, he does still have two usable arms. The least he could do is invent a skin cream for the lizard or an oral treatment for Venom's graphic tongue, but instead he's wasting time on evil plans that are more doomed than Kingpin's open-heart surgery. Still, the engineering marvel of his four mechanical arms is unmatched by the latest prosthetic science in our real world, having created them to assist in his work with volatile materials as an atomic scientist. He has full control over these synthetic appendages and can mentally control the implanted tentacles thanks to his brilliant brain. Although an accident transformed him from mild-mannered scientist into the volatile and unpredictable enemy of Spider-Man that we love to hate, he's still cunning enough to ruthlessly lead a group of other unpredictable supervillains in a group called the Sinister Six, which requires a whole other set of team management-related smarts. No, you're right. I didn't. I stayed in and studied like a good little nerd. Reed Richards Reed Richards is Mr. Fantastic, but in more ways than one. His knowledge of alien biology undoubtedly puts him over the top in terms of smarts. This guy, he ran out of things to learn on Earth. So he started studying other life forms to learn about their makeup as well. In the paltry realm of Earth sciences, Richards has mastered pretty much every kind of engineering, mathematics, and physics you can think of, and has made notable contributions to space travel and robotics, to name only a few. He even created a device called the Ultimate Nullifier, which was basically Earth's only defense against the mighty Galactus. His wife, Susan, also known as the Invisible Woman, is no slouch either, rendering herself invisible at will. It's no wonder their daughter Valeria is so smart. She's got some good genes to work with. Number six, Hank McCoy. While you may know him better as Beast, Hank McCoy doesn't allow his impressive physical strain to overshadow his even greater intellectual capabilities. Sure, he could still get pissed and whip some ass when needed, but he'd much prefer to opt for some strategic wizardry to topple bad guys. Like the other entries on this list, Hank has his fair share of science degrees, being an elite biochemist with doctorates in biophysics and genetics but he's also a man of the arts as well, speaking many, many languages and possessing mastery in such subjects as literature, history, music, and sociology. In short, he's a jack of all trades with more knowledge than most and a gentle, cool demeanor. Just don't make him angry. Your work on anti-electron collisions is unparalleled, and I'm a huge fan of the way you lose control and turn into an enormous green rage monster. Thanks. Bruce Banner. It can't be easy for Bruce Banner knowing that the Hulk lurks below the surface of his body just waiting to rip forth in anger and rage. And there's no way that Bruce isn't aware of the damage that Hulk does to his social relationships, seeing as the guy has more degrees than a thermometer. Biology, engineering, chemistry, medicine, psychology, and nuclear physics. He's said to be one of the smartest people on Earth as well, and is an inventor on par with the likes of Tony Stark and Hank Pym. Bruce is a complex character with a deep history and rich psychological profile, and the fact that he's so damn smart, but so damn deadly, makes him a truly tragic character. The angle and gravity divided by the mass. Nope. Peter, <coughs> you still with us? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, mass cancels out, so it's just gravity times sign. Right. See, Flash being the fastest isn't always the best if you are wrong. <laughs> Peter Parker. Sure, a bite from a radioactive spider doesn't necessarily make you any smarter, but luckily Peter Parker was already pretty bright to begin with. Intellectually, Peter is very gifted. Some may even say a genius, with mastery in applied science, chemistry, physics, mathematics, engineering, mechanics, and biology. Man, what doesn't this guy know, you might be saying. Well, he's not exactly great with the ladies, and he's a little nervous at times. But he more than makes up for his weaknesses with his skills as an inventor and for the creative manner in which he disposes of bad guys that are infinitely more powerful than he is, which is exactly what makes him so great as Spider-Man. The mere fact that if he can't beat him with his fist, he uses his brain. He's kind of an everyman, and that's why we love him so much. Number three, Charles Xavier. 
Now, you'd have to be pretty smart to be the founder of the X-Band and keep all those outrageous egos and personalities in check. And it really doesn't hurt to be able to read and control minds either. But just because Professor X can control someone's mind doesn't exactly make him smart. Luckily for the kind professor, he's also a scientific genius with multiple doctorate degrees, including biophysics, psychology, and anthropology. But his main area of studies is genetics, in which he is world-renowned in the field. To top it all off, he's also quite the inventor as well, having created Cerebro to help locate mutants across the globe. Lunella Lafayette there's one thing that makes Lunella, also known as Moon Girl, really stand out on the list. She hasn't even had her 10th birthday yet, which clearly makes her the youngest genius in the Marvel Universe. And Marvel's been hinting that she is, in fact, the smartest person in the comics. I mean, geez, wow, we're lucky if we could even pour our own cereal at that age. Anyway, though she is too young to hold a lot of degrees, Lunella puts her smarts to good use, creating a variety of trinkets and gadgets to use in combat, which is really something for a freaking nine-year-old. Also, as she's a member of the Inhumans, she's able to switch consciousness with Devil Dinosaur and cause some major damage on the physical front, too. Hell yeah. Armor. Take that off, what are you? Genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. Tony Stark. Lest it be told that Tony Stark is basically the fun version of Bruce Wayne. While Wayne may be the world's greatest detective, Stark's a little bit more of a freewheeling billionaire playboy philanthropist. Maybe it's the fact that he didn't have a darker childhood, but that's beside the point. Yeah, Stark was born into a well-to-do family, but hard work and technical genius allowed him to pursue a loftier destiny than which previous Starks could even dream of. Still, his abilities mostly revolve around mastering the power of STEM. You know, science, technology, engineering, and math to upgrade his armor and turn Stark Industries from weapons manufacturing into the forefront of worldwide technological exploration, ranked among the five most intelligent people on Earth. Tony aced the curriculum at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology before the age of 18, decoded tech from the advanced alien civilization known as the Kree, and is able to analyze every possible solution to a problem so quickly, it seems like he's able to predict the damn future. I mean, would you expect anything less from the guy who built his first Iron Man suit while held captivity in a cave with an IQ that's believed to be between 185 and 215, which is smarter than Einstein? Safe to say this billionaire has more going on upstairs than Batman. One guy has a butler, the other guy built the butler. Well, guys, those are the top 10 characters that we feel are the most useful MCU characters. Do you think we missed any? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. And until next time.